Security is everybody's business, as the saying goes. And since the intrusion of COVID-19 into our world and lives and grounded economic and mercantile activities, poverty and hunger have been pervasive. It is a truism world over that majority of the businesses that contributes significantly to the state's GDP growth fall within the informal economic sector. Unfortunately, this all-important sector of our economic lives has been hardest hit by COVID-19 pandemic as most SMEs survive on daily income. First, it affected the price of dollar, it affected the movements of commodities from one place to another. The lockdown too affected a lot of businesses because some of the business owners, they had already stopped their shop. Some of them did with some goods that are perishable and that has expiring dates. Nigeria and Delta states, being part of the global community, have not been spared the blushes of poverty and hunger imposed by coronavirus. As a direct consequence, those with criminal tendencies have hidden under the umbrella of city lockdowns and curfews to heighten their criminality, causing security breaches, aggravating an already bad situation. There is no denying that Delta has had a fair share of lone wolf security hiccups. Nonetheless, the state has been largely peaceful during this COVID-19 pandemic. Smart Delta Media went to town to feel the pulse of the people on the matter. Take a listen. Before we used to hear community crisis, but the governor, being a grassroots man, he went into where every one of these crises or everything is brooding and say peace, peace, peace. We have to move the state to the next level. Okawa has been a, a very good uh, tool to the state. It's been a very, very peaceful state. It also gives rise for investors to come and apply their trade. The state that is um, peaceful is a state that can grow both in economy and otherwise. The Okawa's administration had made it a key point agenda to make sure that there is security in the third state. To up the ante, cut out laxity and to defeat criminals who are constantly devising ways to beat security. Government must, as the matter of policy, think ahead. This thinking birthed the Delta State-owned internal security outfit called Operation Delta Hawk. Secretary to Delta State Government, Chiduebie, explained some of its modus operandi. The state government has resolved to establish a special security arrangement which will be drawn from the existing security agencies and the vigilantes but operating under an independent structure. The process of implementing the new security outfit is being worked out and in the coming days and weeks we will fully notify Deltans of that. This new development of the state government informed our visit to Asaba Community Vigilante Group. Upon our arrival, Smart Delta Media Team caught up with Ogu Dennis, Gutstein Mweke, amidst other gallant officers who are holding forth and ensuring a crime-free community. We are the grassroots security and uh, we have been given uh, without reservation to make sure Asaba crime free. Not only Asaba, we go beyond Asaba, talking about Delta State General. We the vigilante, we have put up efforts to bring the society, at least people go to bed, sleep very well. Unlike before, we work 24 hours of the day with the police. To further deepen and expand the security architecture of the state, Governor Ifan Yokoa inaugurated two committees, State Community Policing Advisory Committee, SCPAC, and the State Community Policing Committee, SCPC. Present at the event were stakeholders in security. Community policing provides us with a strong platform to leverage on this partnership. Through the collaboration of the police, the people and the government, it enables us to improve the processes and structures that engender peace building, preserve our collective security, enhance the credibility of our criminal justice system, 
and deliver better policing services. These members of the committees, by our background checks, Your Excellency, are men and women of impeccable character, highly educated, non-partisan, acceptable to the generality of the people, and are in touch with them. Bearing in mind that the number of policemen in each locality is grossly inadequate, the police and the community must work together as a team for the purpose of controlling crime in each locality. The several proactive security measures and collaboration has yielded bountiful results as the State Police Command recently recorded a huge success with the arrest of criminals and seizure of a cache of arms and ammunition. Smart Delta. Following these huge haul, Smart Delta Media had a chat with the Commissioner of Police, Delta State Command, Hafiz Inua, where he gave further insight into how he and his men are determined in tackling the security challenges triggered by COVID-19 pandemic in the state. We have uh, men on patrol because we don't only put all our men on the lockdown exercise alone. We are not unmindful of the fact that during such lockdown, some evil-minded, evildoers who do not wish the society well, they will want to perpetrate crime. So we tried as much as we could to ensure that we also deployed men on crime prevention uh, measures. The synergy between the men in uniform during this COVID-19 pandemic cannot go unnoticed. Smart Delta Media team headed to the office of the Delta State Traffic Management Authority, where we had a chat with the Director General, Commander Sam Ida, retired. Desma is an essential service in Delta State. We are involved in the enforcement of the shutdown and lockdown. We worked every day with all sister agencies. According to Commander Sam Ida retired, Governor Okoa's commitment in combating the spread of COVID-19 cannot be denied as it is evident in the support and encouragement of several sectors by the government. The Governor, Senator Dr. Ifani Okoa, has done a tremendous job. Were it not for his effort, would have had more because we've had incidences of people trying to infiltrate the state, stepping in and locking down the state, even when drowned the other day to visit the border posts. Our roving lens witnessed the activities of the Delta State Traffic Management Authority, Desmond, as they enforced traffic rules and regulation among commercial drivers and other road users, ensuring they comply with government directives regarding the control of COVID-19 in the state. The face mask is important because it's for our own good. This coronavirus is real, but most people don't believe that it's real. This guy, I, although I entered before him and I told him to put on the face mask, he refused. They should arrest him, they should carry him. I don't wear face mask, where they catch me. As in catch me, I put on my face mask. Oko up on this, they are doing their work. Front today, I will put me on my face mask. Another studio security agency working in tandem with others for a better secure Delta State is the Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC. Officers and men of the Corps could be seen with other security outfits at the bridgehead between Anambra and Delta States, keeping the peace. On a visit to the bridgehead by Smart Delta Media team amidst the traffic gridlock in the Axis, we discovered that the Delta State Command had impounded many cars for violating the COVID-19 lockdown and other traffic-related offenses. Over 120 people that were arrested, one for violating the rules in terms of uh, you know, movement, were handed over to the mobile court. And also, Quite a lot of them too, more than five or six loads of vehicles were also found to have violated the social distancing uh, rule by the government. The sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Command, Delta State, Ocheja Ame, 
applauded Delta State government on the measures taken to fight COVID-19 as well as insecurity. Because of the proactiveness of Delta State governor, you know, His Excellency Senator Dr. Fanny Koa, he's a lover of security agencies. You know, you can say that uh, the tow truck that we have in this command was donated by Governor Koa. He's also a medical doctor. From that perspective, I think he saw it coming. And he put this in, put this missionary in motion and quick checkmated the influx, you know, from other states into this state. Smart Delta. For all-round security, Delta State Government did not wait for war or violent conflicts to break out before instituting measures to create peace amongst its multi-ethnic nationalities. The evidence of this is seen in the Conflict Resolution and Peace-Building Committee headed by Edwin Uzo. The Edwin Uzo's committee constantly ensures that communal tension, lack of trust in leaders, and kinship tussle did not escalate during the lockdown as in ordinary times. It was a historic event at the Unity Hall Government House Annex Worry as chiefs of Okerurubo converged for the peaceful resolution of a lingering kingship tussle that has defied previous administrations' peace moves. The Peace Committee recommended that the nine kingmakers of Okerurubo Kingdom should cut across the ruling houses for peace to reign. This matter has been conversed within the Rubo nation. And the popular opinion states that the three ruling houses should have their representatives equally. And that is our position. Churchill Lucky Prince. Prince Lucky Churchill, Chief Emmanuel Okumagba, and other chiefs present at the event appreciate the committee's recommendations on the matter, believing that it was a forthright move for a peaceful resolution of the crisis. It was a very beautiful resolution reached by the committee. The work was well done. The government is very serious. They didn't want to delay the issue on ground. And that is why they make sure that uh, whether it was COVID-19 or not, the decision was uh, taken. It's a very successful one. It's um, the advice we got will be useful to us if we all put our thinking caps on. So I just hope we will imbibe what has been said and we will use it to better uh, this kingdom. Very, very, very impressed. The maturity with which the chairman of the committee set up by the government handled the whole issue. And I commend him and his members. May God guide and guide them in all the things they speak and do. Happy with the warring party's acceptance of the committee's recommendations, Chief Edwin Uzo admonished the parties to remain steadfast in their acceptance and let their words be their bonds for peaceful coexistence and harmony. They are good citizens of this state and they are loyal people and they know what it is to make peace in their community. Senator Dr. Ivan Yokoa is a good manager. He's a manager of resources, he's a manager of human beings, he's a manager of peace. The achievement in the state over peace is due to his uh, advice. In Delta South Senatorial District, precisely Iri in Isoko South local government area, Smart Delta Media arrived the community to find out how much peace the people have enjoyed during the pandemic. Our adventure landed us at the Odolobo Palace, Iri Kingdom. <laughs> The Iri Kingdom is host to most of the tribes that exist in Nigeria. Security-wise and cooperation-wise, so far, Iri has been in tandem with His Excellency Senator Dr. 
you find you're out of power. The state government has done well also on this matter. But the state government has not kept any secrets from Deltas. From the palace of Ojolobo, we headed to the Iri Vigilante office where we met Edo Oeneruru, who is the secretary of the Vigilante group. Iri Vigilante is working hard to make sure there will be peace in the Iri community. And also, we should also thank our governor, Koa, who is still supporting our king to make sure that there will be peace in the Iri community. Our quest for more on the peaceful atmosphere that pervades the community took us to Iri Market to find out things for ourselves. Iri people are peace-loving people. We always obey the rules of our government and our king here. If you look at the markets, the traders are not too many. We share them to other places so that there will not be too much gathering. Another measure the Okawa-led administration adopted for security purposes was the setting up of a special task force on COVID-19. Michael Nwoko, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Health Monitoring, and Henry Onyewa, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Peace Building and Conflict Resolution, who are members of the team, traveled around many areas where Delta shares common boundaries with sister states to monitor border security with the aim of preventing illegal crossing into Delta State. Is it that you move this bus now or in five minutes we'll take you to the police station? What is all this? Move, just stop. And you can come back to whatever they are. Effective border surveillance is germane. Okay, it was, you know, curtailing the ratty spread of COVID-19. What we have done at the respective borders is to set up washing station and of course to set up a tent where all passengers who are on essential journey. The whole idea is that before they cross the border, they are expected to come down from the truck and go to the washing station by washing their hands with clean water and soap. Once that is done, their temperatures are checked and of course the findings are documented before they are allowed to cross. It's been quite challenging but uh, we have been doing our very best to make sure that the governor's directive is adhered to strictly. In the fight against coronavirus, Government took cognizance of the safety of lives of inmates at custodian centers across the state and intensified its efforts to ensure that they are protected from being infected by the deadly virus. The controller, Mr. Ovier Friday, is sensible threw more lights on some of the efforts. We have a doctor who went around with the nurses and I to all the five correctional centers in Delta State to sensitize the inmates and the staff. Delta State now no issue in all the five correctional centers and controlling. At the Wari Correctional Center, Delta State government had to act fast to prevent security breach by fixing the roof and perimeter fence that collapsed due to heavy downpour. Smart Delta Media team was taken around the premises by Mr. Aerio Hojion, Deputy Controller of Correctional Center, DCC, who showed us the damage. The disaster that really happened here on 23rd uh, March was just a miracle. We thank God there was no casualty, no escape. I want to thank the governor that when this issue happened, he sent a team of qualified engineers to the site without wasting time. Yet another step the Okawa-led administration embarked on to improve security in the state is the empowerment of inmates at the correctional centers, especially those whose time are almost up. As we are here now in a tailoring unit where we have a, one of the scale opposition centers that we have, Tellering unit is open regardless of the COVID-19 issue. And if you look around, you will see the inmates, they are making fix masks and uh, making other things for themselves and for the staff. And if it's in a larger quantity, it can be sold to the general public. The Governor Koa led administration is strategically combating insecurity through various entrepreneurship programs. Not too long ago, we were at Iseluku Leather Factory, where Delta youths were trained in aquaculture. Aquaculture, aquama is a special cloth. Like we all know in Nigeria, in Delta State, precisely, is, a, is our cultural cloth. We that have come up to start this, 
will have new thinking, new design like we heard they said to us, should create new design. It's a privilege that has been given to me by the state government and I'm very happy about it. As I grabbed the opportunity being given to me by the government, I think the next generation will be very, very happy. Religious tolerance and respect for other tribes living and working in Delta is yet another measure Delta State Government, under the watch of Senator Dr. Ifa Nyathokawa, has adopted to ensure peace and security in the state. Alhaji Lawan Tukur, Chairman Arewa Community in Delta State, Alhaji Ibrahim Babayero and Mukta Usman, Special Assistant to the Governor on Special Duties, attested to steps taken by government to ensure peace and security. We are concerned with the rising wave of insecurity involving clashes between Hadas and their host community. We totally condemn it in all ramifications. We want to use this medium to thank the Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifanya Atokoa, for all he is doing since assumption into his office in making sure there is peace in the state. We, the Iowa community, we thank the state government because they assist the, our community a lot. I will call the government a man of God. He didn't told us that we are from North or Muslim. He take us like his blood brother. The area community in Delta State, they are law-abiding citizens and they always supportive the governor directive. During the lockdown, the mosques have been shut down, while the churches have been shut down, which will give directive. Christian worship centers across the state were also fully guided and have ensured adherence to government's stipulated regulation during the ease of the lockdown. The pandemic, nobody planned for it. I even want to appreciate His Excellency, which is the Governor of Delta State. He has been wonderful. He has done his own part. They have given us guidelines on how to contain the pandemic. Put on your face masks, wash your hands regularly. These are just the care we need to take to help the government to make sure we contain this pandemic and we pray as it will all, it will all fade away. The state government's commitment to bringing sanity to the state capital and nip in the bud insecurity challenge posed by some miscreants in the popular Abraka market along Asabaonicha Expressway moved Governor Koa to inspect and demolish the market's present location while relocating traders to a better site. The place was already creating a security problem for us. I plan to secure Asaba that there was a need to cause that whole place to be bulldozed off and people there relocated to another part of Asaba. And that relocation has already been done and the place has been brought down. Now we are going to think through and see what development we have to put in that place uh, to put it into good use. The commitment of Governor Ifanyokoa to ensuring peace and security in Delta State through the engagements and empowerment of the military, paramilitary, vigilantes, traditional rulers and health workers has shown that at the end of this COVID-19 pandemic, Delta State will emerge stronger than ever. The feedback segment. Question of the day. My question is, for the time of this uh, pandemic, when you enter into some of this keke, some of the riders are not on their, putting on their face mask. Uh, again, some are taking more than the passengers they are supposed to carry. With that, I really want to know what are the set tax force and other agents set aside to monitor these uh, things? What are they doing about it? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Victor Chukura. The DESMA um, management have put a number of strategy in place to actually tackle such situation if they arise. And the first one is a serious, massive um, sensitization of all the KK riders. When we come out for enforcement and then we see that there are a number of KK riders and then you are having two, three or more people, passengers in the KK, what we do is to dislodge them. We don't have any stipulated fine for that. As of now, we are majorly doing cautioning 
and warning. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 09016652274 or send with the hashtag AXIT to all our social media platforms. Better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth say them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the 